Hey guys, do you love jewelry making, mixed media art, card making, craft making, all kinds of creative, cool, crafty things? Well, you've come to the right place. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit that blue bell on the side because you don't want to miss anything. Hey guys, Stephanie here. So this is going to be a mixed media art video of sorts. We're going to be using some recycled packaging uh, with a Valentine's Day theme. Um, so I decided I would do that with these packaging because look at that. That's just recycled packaging that I used. And I put laces and gesso on it. And I used some stencils. I, I did this maybe four or five days ago because I wanted them to be good and dry when I started, you know, putting stuff on them because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. So I just made a bunch of them and I will just decorate them as I go along. So I like, I got, I got this one and I love this one. So I may be using this one today and I really love this one. I use lace with that. Um, this is all Hobby Lobby lace with the little trim, you know, the leaf trim, white leaf trim. I got that at Hobby Lobby as well. And this is a stencil and this is recycled packaging. This is the Jane Davenport recycle packaging so definitely hold on to your packaging keys because you can definitely use it in your artwork this is also recycle packaging and this is that uh, jewelry stencil that uh, Vicky Booten jewelry stencil so yeah look at that foam mining tape and then I use like uh, masking tape on here and then I put the stencil on there I, I gessoed it so well I gessoed it first put let it dry put the tape on it you know and then let that dry and then I put the stencil on top so I think that came out really cool so I'm just going to go over a few that I did, put some laces and gesso on that and stencils. Also recycle packaging. This is also recycle packaging with um, the collage paper and stencils. I think it looks cool just like that. And that's also the Jane Davenport um, packaging. And so is this. <laughs> so I always keep all of Jane's packaging because hers is just a tad more sturdy than some of them. And then this one, I just, just put gesso on it. I haven't done anything with this one. So, yeah, that's how you just put gesso on it and let it dry. Gesso or gel medium or whatever you want to do and let it dry. And then I still have some other ones really quick. I did that one, you know. I just, uh, and I save all the packaging mostly. Um, so, yeah, save the recollections one. This is from Dollar Tree, this one. Put gesso on it and you know you can always like layer them too if they're not strong enough you can layer them and back them with something so they'll be pretty strong back it with some um 110 pound cardstock you can always do it like that too you know and this is another piece that i made with the collage paper just on some recycled like cardboard so hold on to your packaging kids because you can make beautiful artwork so that's what we're going to do today all right let me put this aside for a second let me choose the ones i'm going to work on so I definitely want that one. I think I want this one. And I don't know. How much time do I have? I'll have to see how long I want the video. Because <laughs> we don't want a huge long video. Maybe this one. We'll see. I'll pull it out just in case. We'll save these for next time. Those will be another video. And uh, so I'll pull those out, right? And now I pulled out these cards because this is some of the collection or this theme I'm going to be working with. I This is from my card layered card making video and I will link that above so you can check it out in case you hadn't seen it. These are the beautiful layer cards that I made from that Misty Rose by Prima collection. These are five by five size cards, okay? So I still have some leftovers from this collection from the kit from mycreativescrapbook.com so that's what I'm going to use, okay? So I will put those aside. All right, so we're gonna be working with this one first because I like this one, this is one of my favorites. And I have some, let's just show you some of the stuff I pulled out. I have some Glimmer Mists. I pulled out different colors. I have some of the Lindy Sprays that I may or may not use. I have some water. I have my water brushes. Okay, I have those. I have my Jane Davenport markers. Pulled out a bunch of those, so I have those. I have my Tombow water soluble markers so i love these colors very beautiful Let's see some dilutions ink spray and the different colors so i wanted to pull out things that were pinky purpley kind of thing because that's kind of the theme i want to go for i got some of jane's inks okay i got some of that and i got some of this new um distress sprays that i just got at hobby lobby on clearance and i got some of the ink um the paint dabbers so we're going to try using some of those. 
So I got a bunch of flowers here, leftover flowers, just in case, you know. You never know what you'll use or need. So just a little extras that we could use if or not. And I can always go pull some stuff out of the drawers too because I may have an idea as I go along and I don't have it on my table and I have to, you know, stop it and go pull it out so we can put it on and make it look fabulous. All right. I even got some gel mediums over here, but we'll see. So first, first things first, we are going to paint this and I love this color, but you know what? I'm going to test this color because sometimes these Jane Davenport colors are very, very bright and they're very concentrated. I do want to try that though. The sponge sugar. Like this is pretty. Oh, why does that look orange? It does look totally orange. It's like a salmon color. Um like that's so super, super dark. But you spray water, they're water based, so you can spray water on these and they'll act like a watercolor. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try this sponge sugar. And we're going to just put a little bit on there and see how that goes. Because I want it to be, oh, it's very light. Just a very light color. Right, very pretty. Oh, okay. Because you know we're going to layer these colors, right? We are going to layer them so they look really, really cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. And I think what I'm going to do is, oh, yeah, that's pretty. I probably shouldn't be painting out, of, uh, pulling it out of the, the bottle. Just using this paint in different areas here. As you know, we're gonna layer this and make it look really, really pretty. I think it's beautiful the way it is. Um, yeah, I want it to be really, really cool. And um, have a little bit of this pink sort of poke through, you know? I like that already. Very pretty. You know, kind of like that. Right. All right, so let's uh, put that aside. Sometimes when the paint is wet, you know, you have to sort of wait a little bit. I just want to do the edges here really, really nice. I'm going to do this side. Just a little bit, just a little bit on this side. Oh, wait, I like this. I like that this is, goes down like that. Oh, yeah. It is kind of faint, so I don't really have to spray it. Okay, so I like that. So far, so good. We like. All right, now. All right, so I decided to use the Jane Davenport Beach color because I wanted to have a little pinky peach, reddish kind of thing going on. <laughs> We're going to see. <laughs> We're going to see how this all works out, kids. I am... I had an idea, you know, sometimes you have ideas and you don't know how it's going to turn out until you start working on it <laughs> and putting everything together and you're like, oh, this is really cool or oh, no, it doesn't work at all. So that's all you got to do is try, you know, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Ooh, okay, let's do that. Because I use these quite a bit, as you can tell, that's almost gone. And a lot of times I use um, things that I don't show on videos. So if I haul something and you know you may or may not see a project from it because sometimes I just create projects but I don't share them on video because either I don't have the time or I don't think you know I think oh, I want to do something else so yeah that's what happens sometimes I love that already that's beautiful okay so now I'm gonna use I kinda wanna use this is so oh starfish yeah you know what this is one of my favorite colors although I think one of these markers is broken, <laughs> so I don't know which one, <laughs> and I have to find out. This is octopus. That's red. And then, oh, we have this one, lobster. That's really red. So we're going to go with some other, with this one, I think. There we go. Just want to kind of want it faint. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like it. I like it. And keep paper towels handy because, you know, if you're messy like me, <laughs> you're going to make a mess. But I love the idea of layering colors and textures, and I just love that. Glimmer ones. But you know what? You know I love glimmer and shimmer. Because I pulled out my glimmer mist, too. Let's see. I think I want to try this one. So I think what I'm going to do is do this up here. Yeah, but we're going to spray it. 
because it is very intense, you know? It is very intense. I want it to be pink and pretty, like soft and pink and girly. That's the look I'm going for. Sometimes we do things we want it to be vintagey, but I don't know. I'm like in the, you know, I want something soft and pink and pretty. Because it's Valentine's, and this is what this is going to be for. I even have my Valentine's bag all set outside. I set aside over here on the floor in case I want to reach in it and, um, you know, <laughs> Uh, you know, pull out something and uh, put it on here. Because we're going to put flowers on here. We're going to make it real cute, guys. Really cute. I hear my child screaming downstairs <laughs> with his daddy. <laughs> but he's all right. <laughs> you ever hear your kids screaming over? You're like, oh, they're all right. <laughs> they're with their daddy or whoever. They're all right. <laughs> because they always scream. <laughs> they always scream <laughs> for no reason. Because their show is not on, or it's a commercial, or something weird. So, they're always screaming. So, he's alright. He's not crying. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I like that. I like it. Alright. Now, I'm going to use my big water thing here. And we're going to spray that. Because I want it to, like, drippy, drippy. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I love it. And oh, I love that. Oh, I love it already, guys. I love it. And we're not even halfway done with it, all right? So I sprayed this, and I think it's gorgeous. And I found some more of my Jane Davenport's. They were inside of my um little... Um, I keep them inside of my little tin here. And I put them in my art bag. So I was like, wait, where's the rest of my markers? They were inside of my art bag. <laughs> and my uh, tin there. I love those I love those tins. They're great. All right, so I'm just going to add a few more colors. I love this coral. And it kind of comes out a little red, but I'm going to wait. Let's see, which one is this? Which one is this? It's just polar lights. So I love that. We're going to start with that. It's kind of kind of a deep purple. Not a deep pink, I should say. Deep pink. I'm just covering this with, you know, with that. And I'm going to spray it after. You know? The whole point of mixed media, honestly, is to, like, layer things. And have things sort of peeking and sticking out and that kind of thing. It's usually how it works. So you have like, things like peeking out and you layer. And you have all kinds of beautiful, you know, colors and stuff. I kind of want this like this. Yeah. And we're going to add different things to this. I'm mixing it up here because it's still kind of wet. All right, and so this is called seashell. So I don't know if I want to use that. This one, and then this one is conch. That might work. Let's see. Huh. Let's see. I probably shouldn't be doing that because <laughs> I did that once before and it went everywhere, one of the colors. And then after it dries, I may spray, I'm gonna spray it with some stuff. You know, some of the glimmer mist, some I spray it with a little ink. Pretty. It's going to be gorgeous. All the layers there. Layers. Layer that. I want that to like, ooh, like drip like that. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. So, here. You can kind of help it down with your paintbrush, you know. Go through with your paintbrush and sort of spread it around on the different colors there, on the different pe parts there, I mean. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. So I like this, this pink. Very pretty. I might have to do more paint, more of this pink up here once it dries, you know? I like that pink. And that one was polar lights. Okay. We're going to make it work. All right, so let's let it dry, and then we'll continue to layer it, and then we're going to decorate it, and we'll be done, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and dry it uh, really quick, and then we'll move on to the next step, okay? All righty, so <laughs> this is the color that it came up with. It is a tad pink, uh, more than I wanted it to be, but it's still really pretty because it's going to look really different once it completely dries. It is dry because I used a heating tool to dry it uh, for the most part. But what I did was, 
because I sprayed red on it and everything and it got a little, a little too dark for me and like the dark purple kind of color, pinky purple, I dried it with the heating tool and I put gesso over it. So you can always do that on your projects. Like if you say, oh, that's too red or that's too whatever, let it dry, take your paintbrush and just gesso over it and then dry that. And then you can always paint over it like that. I mean, your, your colors are going to be layered, but um, you, you will have a different effect than, say, what you plan on having. Now, I did want this a little lighter, so maybe the next one I'll do lighter. But I do like pink. I'm a pink girl. I love pink. Uh, I like all colors of pink mostly. And so, yeah, we're going to make this work. So what we got to have to do to balance this piece is maybe add the white flowers and maybe add a little gold and a sentiment. And we're going to be done with this. So I think I am done painting it with the Jane Davenport markers mostly. That's all I use. And then I use the Distress Paint like I showed you. So I think what I'm going to do is spray this with white uh, one last time. Just, you know, spritz it with white because I do want a little white in it. And then we're going to start layering because I took out more flowers, trims, and other flowers that we may or may not use for this project. So especially Tim Holtz ones. I love these. So we're going to see how um, this is going to work out. <laughs> all right. So I would like to use this Dilutions white. I actually like this a lot, this ink. It's actually ink spray. So just know that when you mix purple, I mean um, pink and white, you will get purple. So what I'm going to do is spray it from afar. I like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. See, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Just a little bit. Oh, I got it everywhere, but <laughs> it's best to get a splat box when you're um, spraying, because it can go everywhere. But I like it, because it adds like a nice different effect to it. Ooh, it's pretty. I like it, all right? So remember your gesso, so keep that handy, keep that out. All right, I like this. So let me dry this, and then we'll get on to the next step of the project, okay? fairly dry it's not a hundred percent but it's dry enough for me to work on it I normally like to leave things um, overnight and then work on the next day but tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to do it so I want to finish this out now for you guys so I'm drying it with the heating tool and um, I think once it completely dries it's gonna have a different effect it looks a lot better now <laughs> with the white on it I like it it's a little dark in areas than I what I wanted it but don't worry, we're gonna make this work, okay? So um, we are going to now embellish this and it's gonna be gorgeous. So, All right, so I decided I'm going to try to incorporate some of this Misty Rose collection, like I had mentioned in the top of the video, cause I found some cut aparts and I might fussy cut a few things. See if I can add to our um, little project here. I really like this thinking of you. I think that's beautiful. So I'm gonna cut it out and see how I um, like it. All right, I might try this one. I like this butterfly. So we're gonna try a number of things with layering and things like that. And then I also um, may use one of these cards. I don't know. I'm still kind of playing with it, you know, cause I wanna break up some of the pink. I don't wanna be so pink. <laughs> we love pink, but do we love it that much? <laughs> cause it's kind of a lot. So we'll see. I bought that some journaling cards. So I got a bunch of stuff. So you guys, you know, let's just hang out. Grab yourself a, a beverage, a snack, or your crafty goodies, and let's get to work, all right? So let me figure out what I'm going to layer here, and I will set it up and let you guys see it, okay? All right, guys, so I decided to add some of this trim to the piece, and all I did was wrap it around and just glued it. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just glue this to some 110-pound cardstock, just so it could be a little stiffer. When I'm done with it, and then you know you can, if you do that, you can always gift this, per, gift this, or put it in a frame, or give it just like this, or whatever you want to do with it. It's a, there's a number of things you can do with this. I'm just sort of doing my layout, and then when you decide to do yours, you can do whatever it is you want to do. You know, paint whatever color you want, use whatever trims that you that you want to use, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is just my way of doing things. You don't have to do it this way. I'm a little flashy, so I tend to like flashy things and more, you know, jazzy, elaborate things. So, and then we're going to maybe add some other, like, goodies and baubles. Let's see. I got some flowers. I want to use our sentiments here. 
that we, or should I use it like right there? I'm a righty, so but I like that, that that's going up like that. So maybe we'll use it on that side, okay? And then a fussy cut of butterfly. I use my little uh, AliExpress scissors. I got these at AliExpress for like two bucks. I got my double-sided tape, my sticky thumbs out, my hot glue is on, my little corner uh, chomper, corner cutter thing is out. So I'm all set. So yeah, we're gonna do this and make it look really pretty and um, jazz it up a little bit, you know? I, I like layering things, so that's what I'm gonna do with this. I really wanna layer stuff and make it look, you know, very different and interesting and all that. So I use this uh, trim from the dollar, from the 99 cent store. We can get this at Hobby Lobby, but this is cheaper and I'd rather use this, that way I can use it up. I have like three or four of these, so I bought them specifically just to use on, you know, our projects and stuff. So Miss Maggie Holmes, oh, let's see. That's that too much? We can do that, because we're gonna make it kind of jazzy, guys. This is gonna be, you know, you can always put it like right there or right there. I like that, but I don't know. Do we, does it go? I don't know if it flows with the piece. That kind of does. I have a little green in there. That's a more vintage-y kind of look. So that might work, but it has a little green in there. I have so much stuff. So many Maggie Holmes things. Oh, like that's pretty. That's gorgeous. Oh, we can always do that. Oh, let's see. We're gonna lay some stuff out and see what it looks like. It looks weird. We won't use it. I like this too. Oh, I like that. All right, we're gonna lay it out and see. I think this goes better, huh? Oh, that goes better with that. I don't, know, I don't think that's Maggie Holmes, though. Or it might be. It might be from another line. Because mostly the stuff in this Infirma box is Maggie Holmes. I put on all of her um, pieces here. Oh, yeah. This is all Maggie Holmes. Look at that. That's pretty. But no. If it was a tad lighter, um, maybe I'll be able to use it. But I didn't like that. All right. So I love that, actually. So what I'm going to do is push this further up. And then have that like that. I like that kind of layered look. You know, I don't know how I'm gonna set this up. And don't worry if you have things sticking off. It's supposed to kind of look like that, I think. It's supposed to look like, you know, it's a layered piece. And I really want it to be kind of chunky. So I think what I'm gonna do is just add, see, I'm gonna take some of these out of here and open it. Oh, I like these, these are Tim Holtz. Let's see, uh-huh, pretty. So, you have to take them out and spread them out. And then, I don't know, they're kind of white, so I would have to spray them, which is not a problem. But do we really want like pink flowers? Pink, uh, you know. I like that. Look at that. That's pretty. I oh, like that. I like it. I like it a lot. I like that. I might have to use something like this. You know. I like that. That's pretty. I might use something like that. Huh. I like these guys. I like these a lot. Oh, these are pretty. And we can still like spritz them just a little bit because they are stark white. So stark white sometimes is like, yeah. I'm trying to pick the flowers here. Like I like this too. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. And we have another big one. I don't want the one with the brown and brown in the middle. Oh, how about that one? That's pretty. Let's see. It has a little gold on it. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Spray, I'm gonna spray it white again to kind of dilute some of this pink because it's kind of hurting my eyes. <laughs> it's kind of hurting my eyes. Let me see. Do I have more white? If you see these at Michael's, you know what Michael's prices have went up, guys. So just be aware of that. Their prices used to be $4.99 for a bag of flowers. Now they're $5.39. Looks like they're all uh, on to us crafters. 
with our makes. So just be uh, on the lookout for that. In some areas they are not, because I did go into a store yesterday, and the prices have not gone up, but they will. Let's see here. Um, see, I like that. I like that it looks really, really cool. Ooh. And then, I see I want stuff sticking out. I want something really cool on it. This looks like a lot, but it's mixed media, so it's supposed to be a lot. It's supposed to be kind of busy and bulky and, you know, kind of a lot. It's not supposed to be boring. That's supposed to be minimal. You know, mixed media is like over the top. One is cute with the little gold flowers. Oh yeah, that's cute. One is cute. I think I like it. So I have to take a picture of it and then uh, we're gonna put it all together. All right, all right. All right guys, so I placed all of the items that I um, laid out and I think it looks great. Now this crazy pink background is driving me batty <laughs> and I'm sure it's driving you batty too so this is to let you know that you can make mistakes however it could still be beautiful even if you make mistakes okay I did not want it this pink I was just sort of experimenting and I went ooh too pink I wanted it you know kind of pink but not I don't know so anyway we still gonna make it work it's still gonna be gorgeous it's still gonna be beautiful so what I decided to do was just pull out my watercolors and what we're going to do is paint the flowers. I haven't used these watercolors in quite a while. Like that's like little pink. Like, ooh, that's like pepto pisball pink. This is like a baby pink. Let me see. Oh, that might be better. Better with the white. So we're just going to put it, you know, like that with the white and kind of paint them. I'm going to go over it with gesso too. Just add a little something to it, you know. A little, just a hint of pink. I'm mixing the colors because I kind of want that mixture, just a hint. Okay, and I'm still going to spray it with a little white just to kind of tone down this pink. Um, but I'm trying to sort of uh, marry it all together, kind of tone down this uh, screaming pink at us, screaming at us. It's like, what? Huh? I can't hear you. It's so loud. <laughs> I can't hear you beyond this pink, Stephanie. What? It's loud. So yeah, we're gonna have to tone it down, sisters and brothers. I know I have some guys watching my show too, so. Oh yeah, you know what? It add, does add some something interesting to it. It breaks up the pink. So it adds some of that, and I'm gonna have to spray it with water. Oh, I don't wanna spray that. But, um, oh wait. Wait now, we may have something beautiful. <laughs> let's see, let's see. You never know. Crazier things have happened, I swear to God. I started making stuff and I, you know, think I messed it up and the end, it's gorgeous. So, you never know. Hold. Forced sun and it's a glimmer mist. So we're gonna try to spray some of that. And you know what? I kind of want a little um, turquoise kind of color too because I have that in turquoise. So I'm this uh, shabby turbine teal. But I also have this one. Vibrant turquoise. Ooh, I like that since I have turquoise in there. Now let me see. Let's uh, do a test. The right one. Oh, let's see. Okay, now. All right. Okay. Again, not what I wanted to, to uh, do. But, let's see, let's spray it water. It's still pretty. It's actually prettier than it was. It's kind of rainbow. So, be great for Valentine's. <laughs> Great for Valentine's because it's rainbow and it's pink. <laughs> right? All right, guys. So I sprayed it with um, the time travel teal and it made it darker. And I actually like it better like this. So I actually like it now. Um, it's a little rainbow, but it's still very beautiful. So this is my first time sort of experimenting with these sort of colors together. I like the colors together. I just don't like the dark colors, you know. I think it all should have been light. But you know what? It's still cute nonetheless. So... You know, and then what I, oh, my hands, <laughs> and then what I decided to do was take a, uh, one of our little Valentine's Day stickers that we got, 
at uh, Michael's. I'm going to open it. I'm going to see how it looks on here. Because, you know, you can get this anytime. I'm just making it because it's Valentine's almost around the corner here. But this is any time, love time. You can make this in any colors. Um, you know, choose better colors than I did, I would say. But I think it's beautiful. And it's still wet, so I would put that there. Oh, that's so pretty. Very pretty. Like right there? No, I like it right there. Yep, I like it right there. So there we go. I might glue it down, hot glue it. But I think that's, that's actually really beautiful. Wait a second. Is it too much to put... Look, that's too much. <laughs> you know me, everything in the kitchen sink. But I actually like it now. I was not feeling it at first, I'll be honest. But you know, as you go along, that's the thing about mixed media. As you go along and you start layering things and layering things, and you're like, oh, this looks crazy. It looks weird. Or it looks great. And then it turns out weird. And so, you know, I actually like these. These are colors. These are beautiful colors. Like beautiful. Ooh. Very beautiful rainbow colors. So this is our Valentine's Day mixed media project. Thinking of you. Like I said, you can back this with um, either watercolor paper, you know, cut it down to size and just uh, glue it to the back. Or you can do black it, back it with 110 pound cardstock, you know, because it is packaging. So it is a tad bit on the thin side and you can frame this. It's absolutely beautiful. So now, now I actually love it. I like the textures. I like the colors of the flowers. My favorite colors, pink and that green and teal. I almost feel like I should probably, you know, do a little something to these. There we go. Okay, hold on. I don't want to mess it up. Show you guys this. The lilac. So, I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. Pretty. And then again, once it dries, you can always still go over it with gesso. If it's too intense and then kind of tone some of the colors down. Which I might do just in pockets because I want just a little bit of white peeking out. But this is it, guys. So, um, yeah, you know what? Here's the thing. I now have my blog up and running. I have had a blog for seven, eight years, strangely. And in the beginning, my blog was about uh, like my acting and hosting and some crafty stuff. Well, I've changed it just to mostly my crafting, like hosting and then I would have a tab on the side for my acting and all the other stuff that I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to finish these up and then I'm going to post them on the blog. So that way you can see them. And I will post a link in the community tab or I will let you know um, in the video. I will post a uh, link, you know, in the show notes as well. So I will let you know when that is up. But I'm going to finish these. I'm going to make these a little lot different than these. So I might even put them, you know, side to side so you can see them because I want you to see the contrast, you know, of what not to do, kind of, and what maybe to do and maybe, you know, whatever else we can come up with. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be Stephanie Garrett, Stephanie Garrett Creative on WordPress. But I will put, again, put the link up for you so you can uh, find it. And I'm going to write that cute little article about everything I used and the process and all that kind of stuff. So I realized that I needed to step my game up in my blog because I've been working on my YouTube channel for a year and a half now. My YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my blog was just sort of sitting there dormant. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, I really need to bring that into the fold of everything of the brand that I'm trying to build. So the, the, the next one of the uploads are going to be these mixed media recycled packages and making we're gonna make these beautiful okay again I will announce that in the in the community tab and probably on my Instagram at Stephanie G creative on Instagram and also Stephanie Garrett creative um on Facebook so stay tuned for that all right I just want to let you know and I will be mentioning that going forward in videos as well so all right all right guys well thanks for joining me for this bizarre video <laughs> I had fun because, you know, you got to try to fix things, but I still think it's pretty. Now I think it's pretty. So, okay, so make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit that bell on the side so you'll be notified when future videos are uploaded. And you can also, you know, see the community tab when I post different things about um, upcoming content and pictures and all that kind of stuff. All right. And check out my Instagram and my Facebook page. And I will leave those links below. And also my Etsy shops. I have two Etsy shops. You can check those out. And if you have a question or comment, leave it below and I will answer it. Um, all right. And I will catch you in the next crafty video. All right. Ciao.